Leo Collective. It's MJ here. And this reads for you because I love you. I'm one of you. We are the chosen ones who are connected with the one love. Today is September 3rd, <clears throat> 2020. And this is a collective vibe spread for all of us. This first category is going to be, I don't know so much as finances, but the abundance section. Second, we're going to look at spiritual communication with the higher realms. Third will be our voice, collectively. And finally, this is going to be our collective heart centers and our connection, our love. My email address is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's allergy season, em3dj3 at gmail.com. So if you email me, I would be honored to give you a personalized reading because you're awesome and I can't wait to meet you. Well, let us begin. This is for the collective. And there's so much going on right now. Big changes occurring for everyone. Okay. First, we get the magician. So the magician just means that we have all of the suits at our disposal and we need to manifest. Now is the time. And this can be financially, but it's a card about abundance. In the abundance section with Ganesh. So this is pretty wonderful to get here. It's about channeling energy. And we're number one for our first card. See the art I'm making back there? It's pretty cool. Not done yet, of course. That's my problem. I don't think that my artwork will ever be done. I haven't really ever finished a painting before. So I just can't stop. I have too much more to add to it. For card number two, we get number 11. And this is going to mean for us, the card's called Lust, actually. Um, this also says to use your magical power. It's talking about controlling the life force. So that's going to be very important for us collectively in September of 2020. This is followed by the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is royalty. He's a, he has a very generous presence, this King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles will protect and provide for his kingdom. And his citizens will be prosperous when you see him just envision success so a lot of us right now want to do what we can to help and we need that financial assistance or that help so that we can spend more time on these projects and this is a really good card to get here and that's really what I was going for with that that first row here is what's going to help us financially or with abundance so that we can share our special talents and abilities, you know, that magic, all the different types, and help heal the world right now. Okay, so he's followed up with the Six of Pentacles. And this card is the Pay It Forward card. So it's probably been paid forward to you in the past. Now it's our time to pay it forward and it's gonna come back around to us. Our second category is our communication with source, with spirit guides, with the realms above the 3D here on earth. Okay. Queen of Swords comes first and she's super cool. She's basically perfect expression. She's the power of the mind. Queen of Swords is telling us that we the highest truth is being given to us right now from Source. The higher realms. We've been opened up to that. 
And this is followed with the Hierophant, which is also a super cool card that tells us that the doorway is open into the spiritual realms for us. This spiritual life that we're living, we have been chosen and we have religious authority. As collective workers, this is everybody, light workers, star seeds, you name it. Next we have the nine of pentacles to follow. And she, my dears, number nine is surrounded by a lush garden and nature. Yay. We all love nature. Okay. So it shows that she's very connected with the animals here. I do believe that they're coming to you and me with information. This card tells us to take our time. Don't rush. You need to enjoy this 2020 here now. It's, it's amazing to be alive. So just, you know, keep doing what you're doing, but don't rush it and completely enjoy every now moment. This is a pretty great time to be alive and I'm super glad to be here for it. Next we get the Max. So it's another magician card, just with a different deck. Okay, so another number one. And this is esoteric wisdom and power. This means we're getting the messages, the, the wisdom, and we've become very skillful and crafty. Of course, we're elastic if we're part of the collective. <laughs> this knowledge that we have though, it's sort of right now in this current time interfering a little bit with like the others, the people that are still living in 3D around us. Uh, I get a feel for these people think that they can still deceive us, you know, or, you know, put us down for what we think because they're not ready to change. And this card just means don't worry about that. Just keep doing what you're doing. If they don't want to listen, don't force it onto them. When it's time for them, let the universe choose that and figure it out. It's not worth it'll it'll just take up your time your valuable time if you're trying to convince anyone and we we don't have time for that we have so many things going on the queen of pentacles is what follows she's pretty cool too another pinnacle by the way so this queen of pentacles this is about being practical and enjoying the i think creature crafts is appropriate the comforts stuff like that <clears throat> we get her we get this queen of pentacles when we're in need of financial security it talks about worldly stability and so I was talking about this earlier I know we are struggling extremely financially but <clears throat> to do to live out our life purposes um, we are going to need, you know, the resources and the the moolah to back it up. And this card tells me, when I you look at this Queen of Pentacles, that we're making do, even when we can't make ends meet, we are still helping people. So we're very resourceful, and we care enough about them that we're going to make it happen, no matter what. But what I feel here, and this is our spiritual connection, and this is 2020, and this is September, is a, this is telling me the universe is going to take care of that. They're coming in to make sure that we have everything we need so that we can live out our purposes because they need us now. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is what follows. So Ten of Pentacles... It just means that we are starting a legacy. We were the start of the legacy. I love that. And so we're at the end of it. We've, we're the, the culmination of our journeys. And we really understand all of the valuable things we've been learning and everything around us. And we are going to know what to do next. So it's a beautiful card here because this is going to live on 
even when we're not here on Earth anymore in time. So the next pile is this blue stone, super pretty and cool too. And this one is our voice. So that was how we were communicating and you know what's gonna be given to us throughout September. And this pile here is going to be how we're gonna use that, our voices collectively to spread our one love. <laughs> Oh, would it be my pile? Okay. The first card is the Two of Pentacles. Looks like an 11 to me. Let us see. For voice, basically whatever we choose at this point to express. Anything we decide to express is going to be satisfactory. So we can't make the wrong choices right now. We're too well-rounded. We are open and like picking up on all of this divine guidance and assistance and the messages around us. So we can work with any scenario, with any information by now, if you're part of the collective in 2020, you know how to use it. So six, which is science is what follows this here. Directed intelligence. We're going to be given the right circumstances and put in the right places at the right time to do our jobs and to live out our life purposes successfully. It's not going to be as difficult for us anymore. If it feels right, do it. If it doesn't feel right, don't. We understand that by now. Next, we get the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is the card about moving slowly and steadily. He is the tortoise, right? We are the tortoise. We need to be the tortoise right now with um, our expressing and sharing and our, with our voices, okay? So, think and feel your way into how best you can use your voice and the information that you know and how you can express it. Like the tortoise. Because we'll get incredible results. We, we know what other people need. And that's another, like the, back there where the, the source was uh, telling us and our guides were saying, to, don't rush it right now so much. We don't have to really just enjoy it. Enjoy helping others, it feels good. Okay, finally for our voice, we get judgment. What? It's the end of times, it's the end of days. The day is like we knew before. So this is super cool and fitting. It's here, man, everything inside of you has changed. And we're here to use our voices to help them catch up. Our souls, like he did that calling a long time ago, but now we just bring them into this new reality. You know, watch them awaken and metamorphosize. It's, it's gonna be amazing. And it's perfect because, I don't know if any of you have ever noticed this before, but it's 20, 20, and this card's 22. I mean, obviously the tarot cards are not gonna be going into 2020 cards, but to me, for this this judgment day to happen, it's, it's in the cards, it's telling us it's gonna happen in 2020, right there on the card. Pretty beautiful and amazing. These are wonderful times, I'm super glad to be a part of it. Finally, for our hearts, our collective heart, we get to get it started, the star. Okay, so now my star card here is from the, the main tarot deck. See that? Prop my little book here. Okay, so this card is telling us 
that. It's number 17, by the way, and seven plus one is eight. So, hey, there's some abundance happening in September. Or when this reading finds you. This is about the calm after the storm. I've been reading that in many places with the Schumann resonance stuff. So it could have something to do with this blackout that's occurring um, that we're really all not sure because this has never happened before and we don't know what that means. But what it is bringing to us is that ultimate sense that everything will be okay. Okay, and we're getting more direct communication now and connection with source than we ever have before. There's more presence here. It's not just the same people or the same entities or energies working for the good. They brought more to help us out. So this is bringing us clarity and vision, the star card. We're using our hearts to feel it and to read it. So the star card comes again. And this is in the next deck here. This is hope. It's unexpected help. We earned it by making our hearts so big and so activated and so open and connecting with each other. And we're being given more spiritual support, more spiritual input because we did it right. This is a reward for us here in 2020. It just means more clarity and vision. You know, to help us heal more people. It's happening. It's going to happen faster because we, we did it right. Knight of Swords comes to follow. Okay. So in this card, it is calling us to action. This is a push. It's getting us into a mode where we will be brave enough to face the opposition and defend our beliefs. It's going to help us help others help them see and we, we need to help them understand the things that we know you know take it slowly though and easily because it's a lot of inf information to take in so we really just need that clear focus to help them see and we're going to share that with our hearts to finalize our September vibe for the collective. This month we get the Empress card here. She's a beaut. I usually wear a magician necklace, but more and more I'm feeling close to this Empress energy. When I see the card, I think of myself. I think of who I am and what gifts I have to share. So I'm really connecting with this Empress card. So it's pretty cool that the, it began with my card and it's ending with another card of mine. This is a message that is coming through loud and clear. And those are some signs just to help us, to let us know that. Okay, so the Empress is, she's gonna guide and protect her kingdom. She's bringing that peace. She's bringing in that peace, that Gaia connection. So at this time, with all of the shifts and changes and everything, the downloads and the, the, us balancing our energies and learning how to work with all of this, we are beating our hearts and the heart center are beating at the same pace or frequency or keeping up with or staying with Mother Gaia right now. So by being part of the collective and being the chosen one, you are somebody that she can share her gifts with and care for and connect with the others. And she's doing it through our open heart chakras because we're tapped into her frequency and our hearts are beating at the same rate. So us chosen ones, which are part of the flow and the collective, we were chosen for a reason. She can use us to further with the Empress card, both material and spiritual growth. And this is for all. Through love, through 
our joy in what we're doing. This is how we heal everyone together. It's that one love. It's getting bigger and it's getting stronger. The way I feel it is that it's spreading. There's not as many gaps in it. So it's <laughs> okay, so there you have it. This is my channeled intuitively collective vibe reading for me, for you, with love, and my tarot cards. It's September 3rd, but this reading's timeless. It's forever. Whenever it finds you, hit like, hit subscribe, get notifications, please, so you can see my other videos. Any love and support is so greatly appreciated because we're suffering pretty hard financially. And I do this. with my heart. This one. I'm using my voice. This one. With the higher realms information that they share, the spiritual connection, so that we can all get more abundance and be financially capable of living our purposes and healing with whichever one of our skills and abilities they need us to work for in each of the different situations. Okay, email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com and all the other links are down below. I do some pretty cool other stuff too. I'm a painter, I play guitar, I'm a writer not just poems i write long things so it's you know scientific knowledge and information or philosophy religious stuff i also write books but um i try to keep them short they're super fun so find all that stuff too we have the cutest dog on the planet I am a crafty person, so I knit and I crochet. We are travelers, so hence the hotel room. <laughs> Stay updated. Show me some love and support. Pay it forward. You'll get it back. Let me know if you want a personalized reading. Can't wait to meet you. Stay grateful, stay thankful, and we will all be blessed collectively as a whole with more of that one love. Thanks for being part of 2020 and living your purpose against all odds because sometimes it's not that easy and we're going to make it happen anyways. So much love. Namaste. Peace. I'm out.